All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for some late, out of date, raw thoughts. Or maybe like a half ass raw review. Let's go with that, ladies and gentlemen. Half ass raw review. It started off with Miz TV. You had Randy Orton on the show or whatever the segment there. Um, they were arguing about the briefcase, but they're partners. And if Miz wins, he's. If they win the match, they might fight for the tag title, briefcase, tag title. I don't know what the fuck's going on there but the new day came out cutting the cheesy outdated promo there i think it's time that they move on from this new day shit just coming out making stupid noises unfunny garbage there it's time to just move on from this but then McIntyre came out. I thought this guy was done there. I thought he lost or whatever. Apparently him and Orton are still feuding or something. Big brawl happens. Eventually New Day gets beat up. Um, McIntyre got beat up. I enjoyed them getting beat up, but the talking was a little cheesy. Isn't it supposed to be Orton against Roman Reigns at Survivor Series there? Because judging by this, it looks like another Orton and McIntyre match. Um, you know, McIntyre was killing the ratings big time there. The lowest ratings Raw ever had. <laughs> Can we move on from this boring fuck there? For the love of God, please, there. Indie fans like him. He was in TNA or something. He took steroids. We get it there. He's tall or whatever. But can we please move on from this guy? I'm begging you there. Um, we had Riddle, formerly known as Matt Riddle, defeating Elias and Jeff Hardy, and he joins the Survivor Series team. Uh, Matt Riddle looked better as a name. I don't usually complain about the names or whatever, but it looked better as Matt Riddle. You know, now he just looks like a like even more of a goof with a name like this because he looked goofy enough as it is coming out with pink sandals and wrestling barefoot. The weird stoner look he has there with, I don't know if he's like a surfer with bad comedy and the outdated bro stuff or whatever he was goofy enough as it is but just the name riddle it just looks dumb you know what i mean how can you take a guy like this seriously there it's riddle bro i don't know a little cheap this this name stuff there we had mustafa ali backstage with retribution he had a match against uh, Ricochet later on in the night there. He defeated Ricochet, but uh, I think both of these men, they need to be freed from the WWE and send them to AEW. <laughs> send them to AEW. Let them fly over there in the sewers and AEW or whatever. Um, but Mustafa Ali as the leader of Retribution, I think it sucks. Like when Retribution came out with the goofy masks, they were getting lots of hate. Personally, they're poisonous. I didn't care. I didn't have any big hatred. Some people were hating like fucking... 
hating hard on on T Bar and these other losers there on Twitter, hating hard on them. Me, I didn't care, you know. But with Mustafa Ali as the leader, then I have zero interest in the group there. I was feeling bad for T Bar for all this hate he was getting because of his name or whatever. I didn't think the name was that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Lots of goofy factions. Maybe it could have turned into a positive, I was thinking there. But with Ali as the leader, I have no hope for this group. Like, this guy is boring. I don't get the appeal. I don't see what WWE sees in this guy there. Apparently, he was scheduled to fight for the belt instead of Kofi Kingston. Thank fuck that never happened there, but, like, I don't get it. Is it because of the shows in Saudi Arabia? It's like, I don't get what a midget jobber with no appeal whatsoever. I don't see what what he's fought, why he's getting pushed or whatever why is he the leader of this group the guy's boring nobody gives a fuck about him so you put a bunch of new guys underneath the boring guys then these new guys are gonna look like jobbers it is what it is there they already look like jobbers enough there but now with mustafa ali it's like pointless and you had AJ and the Survivor Series team, Riddle, Strowman, and whoever else there. Um, they were upset, Sheamus and stuff. They were upset that Riddle was on the team kind of deal, which was a little funny, them being disappointed <laughs> that Riddle was their partner. It was a little funny, I think. I... I this set up a tag team match. Strowman and Sheamus versus Riddle and Keith Lee. Um, with AJ as the special ref. So AJ was getting hit by accident two, three times. You had some kind of goofy finish with Sheamus. It was some kind of three stooge match there with AJ Styles getting hit. Stuff like this, some kind of goofy comedy match with a cornball finish there. So it was okay, I guess, but not like uh, anything good for Survivor Series, you know. You had some 24-7 title uh, buffoonery or whatever taking place. Like 10 different people became champ including Tucker, ladies and gentlemen. So Tucker was a part of a team with Otis. Otis loses money in the bank. They split up, they split up the team, and now Tucker is a part of uh, the 24-7 scene, and he's dressed up and looks like a fucking jobber or whatever. Might as well just release Tucker there. It is what it is there. Just get it over with because poor Tucker there, folks. I mean, and you had McIntyre and the New Day. They defeated Orton, Miz, and Morrison. Uh, Orton walked away, was probably bored by McIntyre's wrestling there. Walked away with probably half the viewership in the toy hour or whatever there, but uh, it seems a little lame, a little too uh, nerdy uh, for Survivor Series. I would have went with something more serious there. There's enough cheesy wrestling going on there. WWE's been cheesy enough. You know, how about something more serious for Survivor Series? If it's Orton against Roman Reigns, why not have something about the match? I don't I don't even know if they mention this match. How about Roman Reigns coming out for a serious confrontation with 
Randy Orton instead of just a bunch of tomfoolery or whatever the fuck this was there. It's too happy-go-lucky there. It's, it seems a little bit better these days. The wrestling itself is a little better kind of deal there, but... Um, you know, it just seemed a little too happy-go-lucky with no effort for my taste. They're just goofy shit for Survivor Series. How about something serious? How about Roman Reigns there to promote the match? And I don't know. Wasn't that great what I saw there? Not impressed, folks. I'm going to start watching AEW. Shout <laughs> that a real rush on there. But yeah, um, hopefully it gets better for Survivor Series or whatever there. Uh, let's just see if the ratings aren't as bad as they've been there. Oh, another lowest rating of all time this week. Boys. Apparently McMahon says the ratings, it's, you know, ratings are low and they're trying to fix the, the ratings. They're not trying hard enough there. Time to fucking fix the show before you... Uh, Start to look a bit embarrassed with like under a million or something like this for Raw if it keeps up there. Do shit that people want, which is real programming at this stage of the game there because it's getting embarrassing there. Until next time, peace. <laughs> oh, 